What's good YouTube, it's your boy Musa Loss Fitness and today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the meals that I've eaten throughout a week. I'm going to be showing you guys different types of meals that I would normally eat um, within a week's period um, but this week that I'm showing you guys is not a normal week, it's a very strange week. I started off by doing one meal a day, just, just something I wanted to try out just to see like what, what what's this uh old man thing you know um so i thought let me give it a go you can't judge anything unless you've tried it so we started off day one with just a bowl of salad a little bit of protein and yeah some good man fats in there avocados all that goodness obviously higher fat beef and what else i put, I put a lot of stuff in it um, i actually made a video on how to make that salad so if you're interested in checking that video out um i'll put it up here as a card so you can go have a look Today is day two um, of the one meal a day. As you can see, I've got a half chicken going on here. Um, I've got a kebab box and I've got a whole avocado with some mayo on the side. Um, this is day two. Let's eat. I didn't really feel like cooking that day. You have those days when you're, on a, when you're on a diet or when you're busy doing work and stuff. You just feel like, I don't want to cook today. So I went and got something that was a very good meal. Again, that was only OMAD. That was the only meal I ate that day. Um, I felt good, nothing stressful. Um, it was very satiating and very nice and very tasty. Um, again, like I said to you guys, I'm being 100% transparent. I'm not going to tell you guys, oh, I make home cooked meals every single day. I don't eat out. It's a lie. Like, like no one know. Some people will do that, but me, I'm telling you, this is this how it's in it. I'm living life. <laughs> I had that for day two. Day three, I made my keto bowl snack thing that I've made. Um, I also uploaded a video on that, where it's mainly creme fraiche, 38%, um, creme fraiche again, um, which is 18%, and then you have a lot of the berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and then you have your nuts in there. Um, I made a video on that as well, how to make that. You should also go check that out. I'll probably add that up here as well for you guys to check out. But yeah, I'm not, I didn't record every single meal that I had uh, throughout the week. These are just some of those that I remembered. <laughs> I remembered, oh, Musa, you're filming a week's worth of food. Record them. Um, day three, I didn't dec I decided not to go home mad because this was a snack. So I mean, I ate something during the day. I can't remember right now, but I ate something during the day um so i only did two days of omad and it was okay but i was like mm. so for day four again we have another snack here um i used some it's like a sausage it's a pre-cooked sausage um beef one high in fat high in protein as well um but it is processed meat so that's a bit like mm, i'm i'm not a big fan of processed meat i'd rather eat just like straight steak straight grounded brief something that's not something that can't last long when it comes to meat but you know sometimes you're in an emergency and you need that quick snacky snack so salami um that's what it is salami can come in use and it did in this um situation i was hungry during like i think it was like midnight two o'clock in the morning because i was watching basketball I felt hungry, so I was like, you know what? I need me a little something, something, something. So I went and made me a little something, something, something. And as you can see, it was salami with cucumber, goat's cheese. Um, what's it? Not, it's not cheddar cheese. Is it cheddar cheese? Cheddar cheese and avocado um, inside a cucumber. And after that, we went and did a little taste test. As you can see, open wide, tuck it in. Good man taste, man looking like an anaconda breaking his jaw and that. Um, but it was good stuff, very nice. This is a actual meal, don't, I know I said snack, but it's not really a snack. If you count the calories for this whole meal, it was like a whole avocado, um, like half a bar of goat's cheese, you know what I mean? Salami as well. This is like six, six seven hundred calories if you look at how much I made. So don't be fooled and be like, oh, snack, let me just make that. I can just eat that all night. Nope, calories are calories at the end of the day. And especially when you're on keto, your diet is higher in fat, which fats are like one gram of fat is nine calories, whereas one gram of carb is four calories. So it's a big difference in a ball game. You know what I mean? Like fats, fats are hard, um, a hard thing to um, balance. You can easily overeat when it comes to fats. Don't be fooled. Next day, which is day four, day five, I don't know. Uh, we went for some ribeye, um, good man ribeye. That's probably my favorite steak, simply because it's higher in fat and it just tastes so good when you fry that in that butter. 
Mm, mm, mm. That ribeye, I just love me some ribeye. Who don't love no ribeye? You don't love no ribeye? How can you not love no ribeye? Ribeye is my favorite steak. Let me know in the comment section what's your favorite steak. Um, ribeye is just that good man stuff. Um, and then I made it with a little bit of okra on the side because that's my favorite vegetable. You know, you're dieting, but if you can eat the things that you like, do it. Um, and still be in a calorie deficit, do it. So I made that okra and then I fried it in that good man ghee to increase my fats. Um, yeah, I love ghee, tastes nice. Try it out if you're on keto. Um, yeah. And then this happened. I introduced carbs back into my diet. I know some of you are thinking, wait, what? You're eating carbs again? Yes. Now, the main reason why I did this, if I'm being totally honest, the main reason why I did this is because I have a bad relationship with carbs. And the only way to over overcome a bad relationship is to face it. You know what I mean? Face it. Be true to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Um, and I thought, you know what? If I keep trying to avoid carbs for the rest of my life, which is pretty much impossible, um, especially if I'm trying to live with my family and all that stuff and they, they love up the carbs, um, it's just going to be a difficult road. And I thought, you know what? I want to have a better relationship with carbs. I want to be able to look Ben and Jerry's in the eye and say, no. Like, Ben and Jerry's, I don't want you. I want to be able to look a cinnamon bun in the eye and say, cinnamon bun, not today. It's not happening. I don't want you. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like that guy. Oh, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon bun, please. Please don't do this to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, my God. See, uh, or see Ben and Jerry's and be like, start dribbling and stuff. No, I want to conquer that. And literally, since I've introduced carbs back into my diet, no ice cream, no cinnamon buns. I don't miss that stuff. You know what I mean? It's because now my, my goal is very clear in my head of what I want. Um, you know what I mean? And the body that I want for myself. So I'm not letting that stuff distract me. So that's the main reason why I went back into carbs. Because I was like, you know what? I need to be stronger and have a better mental relationship with carbs. And don't look at carbs like they're the devil. Where it's not the carbs that is the devil. It's you. It's you, Musa. Self-control was gone, like you lost it. <laughs> like I said about in the beginning, the first episode of this uh, Get Sharp, I said, like I ate a ton of stuff that, well, that time. Like I will try and insert that clip here so you guys can see I was mentioning all different types of foods that I ate. Packets of crisps, not one, but like two a night. Ben and Jerry's every night two croissants daily like i'm talking it was terrible like it was absolutely shocking for the next few days this is what i ate all the foods that i'm about to show you for the rest of the video um this is what i ate i ate some oats um and a egg wrap in tortilla that was really nice um i've had that pretty much every day since um with tracking my macros as well and right now i'm at a hundred and 1.5 which is the lowest we've been on this journey so far um my weight did fluctuate a little bit when we introduced carbs which is just normal you know start putting on that water weight again uh one thing i do need to do better is increase my water my water i'm not drinking as much as i should be for the amount of walking that i'm doing aerobics training that i'm doing um, right now i'm only drinking like this which is like 2.2 liters i think if i'm not mistaken or i'm, I'm probably mistaken it's probably like yeah, it's like two, two and a bit, 2.5. I think it's two and a half liters and I should be easily, I'm six foot three. I'm a big guy, I'm not small. I should easily be drinking two of these a day, you know, at least five a day, but I'm not. I'm drinking like the one and you can see this is still left over from yesterday. So I didn't even drink one of this, uh, which is poor, shocking. Um, I can do better, should do better. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video of me being as transparent as I can be about the meals that I've eaten throughout the week. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you want to follow me on this journey, please subscribe. And if you have any type of topics or videos you want me to re like do, please let me know in the comment section and I'll plan it out and get it done for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. I'm out. Love life, love life, love life. Peace.